Uh, no, there's a few things NFL related, like coaching carousel related. It's already picking up. Um, we'll talk Sean Payton in a second, trade destination, whatever. Um, Sean McVay, like the the whispers of him, like not wanting to come back because he doesn't want to deal with a rebuild. Who wants to deal with a rebuild? What are your thoughts on Sean McVay, first of all? And then then we'll take it from there. Uh, Well, I mean, like, keep it not thinking about that. Like, I mean, he's a good, obviously, he's a great coach. They were, I was listening to something the other day and they were talking about it. Like, his coaching tree already is crazy. Um, Is he a Hall of Famer? I I think so. Like, why? I I can't say. Like, he just seems like such a genius. Well, maybe not, because, like, is Mike Martz a Hall of Famer? That's right. I'm comparing him to Mike Martz. Is Mike Martz a Hall of Famer? I don't know. Like, I I guess I get the argument, but to me it just feels like it's not not enough. Yeah, no, I think you're right. Like, people debate Sean Payton. Yeah. No, no, I think you're right, because my initial reaction was yes, but then I thought about it, and And, instantly Mike Martz And all he has over Sean Payton. I don't want to say all he has over Sean Payton, because... Like he has a coaching tree. Sean Payton doesn't necessarily have a a, a coaching tree. He's does, part of the Bill Walsh. Does a coaching tree make you a Hall of Famer? Because like if Bill Belichick's coaching tree. Well, is terrible. so this when I well when I say that, Sean McVay like brought a new offense to the game, and now that offense is all over the league and it's successful. Um, so I mean I think that when when I say coaching tree, I guess just like his his scheme, kind of kind of similar to like the Shanahan thing where. Like maybe the coaching tree doesn't matter, but the Shanahan offense is known as, you know, something that's successful. Does anybody? I don't think anybody really ran a Sean Payton offense. Like people obviously took. You could see it all over the league where you they somebody would run a play and you'd be like, okay, that's a Sean Payton. Like we the Saints read that two weeks ago, you know. But um, yeah, I was wondering. I don't know if he's a Hall of Famer already. Like he's only like thirty six. Yeah, no, I think that's a fair point. I don't, I don't know if he is. I really I mean, don't know if he is. He's got, but he's got one Super Bowl. He got to a second one, fluky, but got there. Um, I mean, besides this year, the team's never been unsuccessful. Yeah, no, you're right. But I think so. The thing that, and that's an interesting point, an interesting conversation. I wasn't even thinking along the times of like Hall of Fame coach, this and that. Like he's he's obviously a phenomenal coach. Like would I take him in New Orleans? Absolutely. Yeah, it's a it's. But it's like when you look at coaches, and I this is how I judge coaches. To be completely honest, how do they manage their their bad years? How do they manage the roster when it's when it's a little absolutely a little rough? I mean, that team from the second he stepped foot there has been mortgaging their future. If if I was a Rams fan and he left, you know how I feel about Sean Payton. If I was a Rams fan, I feel like it's worse. Yeah, I was about to say I'd be more heated at him than I feel about Sean it, Payton. At least Sean Payton, like he went through some years. He was like, you know what, I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Sean and then Payton he was like, "You know through, what? This ain't worth it." Granted, it was just like seven and nine, three years in a row. But like that's it. That was his bad years. Like those years were not great for the Saints, right. you know. And he went through it. And he's older now. Like I understand Sean Payton not wanting to go through a rebuild. Not that I thought we were gonna go through a rebuild. We're still not in a rebuild. But yeah, if you and even and then the Sean Payton situation ain't nearly as bad. Like they didn't trade away the whole future and then Sean Payton, right? Leaving. Like that's if he leaves, that's that, and that's kind of that, why I yeah. was asking. Like it's like I'll look at him differently if he if he leaves. Now, granted, if he leaves, he's coming back. Or even be smarter about it, right? Like at least Peyton didn't say, "Hey, listen, I don't want to deal with what's happening in New Orleans right now. I just I want to take a step away." Like yeah. he didn't. He just you know he kind of like you knew why he was taking a step away, right. but it was like maybe he's burnt out. Who knows? Right. Um, reports were, oh, he's tired. Okay, it, fine. McVeigh, they're they're bluntly saying he's not tired. He just doesn't want to deal with the roster. It kind of speaks to like a, a generational gap in the coaches, right? Because like, like Belichick, he doesn't even have to say whether Belichick, Tomlin, they don't even have to say whether they're coming back after a bad year. Like it's just, yeah, we're coming. Of course, we're coming back. Right. But like a younger coach like McVeigh is like, yeah, I need like a mental break. Like <laughs> he's not even saying that. Yeah. He's he's basically well, saying. Well, you know, he's he, what I'm saying. Like he's coming. He can leave. He's gonna if he leaves. He's gonna leave. I'd bet my life that he's coming back at some point. Oh, for sure. 100%. So that's really all he's saying is, yeah, I need a mental break. And you know what? It's probably not going to be here when I come back. Similar to Sean Payton. Right. So it's – but it's like like you – Mike Tomlin would never. 
if the Steelers went like three and whatever, Tomlin's gonna be like, "Yeah, I'm coming back." You think I'm going out like that? <laughs> no, and that it speaks to so, and I think the reason I judge that even more so is because like as a as a coach, as an athlete, as a anything like that, you're you're like taught to be ultra competitive. And if if at the first sign of oh this might not work out you're bolting, I'm judging the shit out of you. And like, you have to imagine he's competitive. Like he has to be. You you have to imagine that. And it's like, I mean, like us for example, like very low low tier athletes that play pickup basketball. If you lose if you lose a game in pickup basketball, you're run like it back. run that shit back. Run it back. Like oh, yeah. you beat you, you beat me eleven to one. I don't care. Run right. it back. Run Y'all want to switch teams? No, I want no, this team. Let's go no. again. Yeah, we about to beat your ass. Yeah. So like that's it's so crazy to me that he just no. I'm honest. I obviously the stresses of what he does is exponentially greater than that example. You know, but it's the same concept. You would think. And it'd be different. If they had done this three years in a row, I'd look at it maybe differently and be like, all right, yeah. you gave it a shot. Yeah. Like, come on, man. I that. <laughs> I, and that, I, I totally agree. I, told, I just wanted to see if we were kind of aligned in that, in that mindset yeah, or really how anyone out there thinks of it. So, no, what I was going to get into is uh, Sean Payton, um, trade destinations are starting to formulate. You're starting to see now with the carousel. Um, people be interested. You know, people have fired their coach. Um you got the Texans, you got the the Broncos, you got the Cardinals, maybe the Panthers, maybe who knows? But those three at least have shown interest. Um, what are your thoughts? Um, like what? Do you, where do I think he he ends up? Or? Yeah, whatever. I just I wanted to leave it open, see where mm. you want to take the conversation. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh best situation for him is. Probably Arizona of the three so far that have reached out, I would think. I don't think the Texans is as bad of a situation as people might think it is. Um, I feel like if you get a coach in there that knows how to run – I mean, look at where the Saints were when he took over. Like, if he can turn that around – Yeah, baby. Which, yeah, if, he could, if he can turn the Saints around, like, I think that's exactly the type of coach the Texans would want. Somebody that's been through – A rebuild? Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, quick rebuild. W- whether he wants to deal with that again, I don't know. I don't know how long he plans to continue coaching. Um, but I think Arizona is probably the best. Yeah, the one that the one that's got a vacancy that surprises me. They haven't reached out to him yet. Is Indy? Indy, yeah, that's fine, sweetie. Um, Indy is interesting. I, you know, I if we're looking purely at roster. So I don't think this is where he ends up. But if we're looking purely at roster, I really do think Denver is is a good destination. Um, depends you would, on you would think. Depends on how you feel about Russ. Well, I mean, that's fair. But like, one bad year, okay, maybe Russ is washed. People will debate and say Russ has never been that great. That's fine. He still had some good numbers through his years. There's there's a lot. There's there's a there's a great roster. You know. In place, I think that Peyton being the offensive guru could make it work. The defense is great, especially if I don't know if Vic Fangio goes back to Denver. But if reports are true that that uh, Fangio is going with him, I mean that's it seems like a perfect yeah. a perfect situation. Um, I mean I could see Arizona. Uh, I think <laughs> uh, I think Arizona is a good destination. I I would I'm just really curious how the Kyler Murray situation plays out. I I don't know what read i have on him because he needs to do some better pr on himself he needs to find a way to not look like someone who's just purely relying on on skill or or like talent to get himself over because um that that contract clause really damaged his character or his his perception around the league and then watching him yell at his coach on the sideline and stuff like that like it just doesn't that's the crazy thing because like him and kingsbury were like this coming into the league right um now like sean loved him coming out of college i remember i wonder what it'd be i'd be interested to know what his opinion of him is now um you'd imagine he's got like some good sources around the league that can tell you more you know he can know more about Kyler than we can 
Um, so I guess that that's probably he says the quarterback situation doesn't matter as much as we make it out to be. I dis I don't believe that yeah, for I don't a second. Know if I believe that because like we both said, the second the Chargers would come available, then he's like that. If he went anywhere other than the Chargers, if the Chargers job came open, I'd be shocked. Um, and that that has everything to do with Justin Herbert. <laughs> I th- I think it has. Well, yes, it has to do with Justin Herbert. I th- I really just think that he wants to be in a in a. The NFL, if I could take a step back, the NFL is kind of going the way of the NBA right now. Like players are looking at cities they want to go to, high profile players. They're they're not being, um, they're not they're not sticking with teams as long as they used to. They're not sitting there saying, "Oh, this team drafted me. I need to give them a chance and stay with them forever." They're saying, "No, screw that. I want to go play for this team with my buddies." Like they're teaming up more. They're kind of taking that approach. Everybody wants to be in LA. Everybody wants to be in Miami. Like you're starting to see that more and more and more, um, so I could totally see him going to one of those premier destination cities. Yeah, I think he ends up. Um, I don't think this is going to be the only three teams. I really, I've, I tweeted out the other day. I think there's going to be a team that surprises somebody with a firing. Like I think one of these playoff teams, if Dal, if Dallas gets bounced in the first round, yeah, I could see that. And Jerry Jones, no, like, finally has his chance. Yeah. Which is always – the Dallas thing is weird to me. I, he says, like, ownership is – like, that triangle he keeps talking about is the most important thing. I just can't imagine Sean Payton wanting to deal with Jerry Jones. Like, yeah. there is no triangle, number one. It, it's a line in Dallas because it's Jerry Jones and the coach. Like, Sean Payton is not going to let somebody else run his no. his show. I, I think that there's an interesting dynamic between Peyton and, and Jerry. I, I think that I think that Jerry may actually let Peyton have a lot more of a say than people are people are thinking. What do you think about this idea? I've seen it floated around of him maybe bringing Jeff Ireland with him. Seen that. Or something like I that. I would hate that. I would hate that Personally, too. I would hate that. I, I would I, What were you gonna say? I was gonna say I think Jeff Ireland has been one of the most underrated people. In, in the Saints organization because of how well he's been able to scout and build this, this roster out. It's maybe a hot take. I would be more upset if he took Ireland or Kai Hartley than I would be if he took Loomis. I think that's fair. Um, I mean, you see Loomis is the face, right? Like, Loomis is the guy you think is building this team. This, and, and to an extent he is. But, mm-hmm. like, Ireland is, has been a phenomenal – like he's had a phenomenal eye for talent. Yeah, our our draft success. Yeah, he had been, had some misses, but his hit rate is absurd. It's been really good. Yeah, outside of defensive linemen in the first round. Well, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, that's a theme for. But uh, <laughs> you tell Dylan. Um, yeah, I. I've I've been saying for a couple of years now. I wish they would like you don't want to lose those guys. I wish that Loomis would just kind of like take another role. Like a higher role and let yeah. Kai Hartley or Ireland become the face. You know what I mean? So that we could keep all of them. I do know what you mean. Um, um, yeah, the Dal- I think Dallas could be one. We both think the Chargers could end up being one. And I I still believe that if the Chargers get bounced in the first round, it's a chance. I think it's a chance. I think it's definitely a chance. Um, I just – it it would it – would, kind of catch me off guard if they got bounced in the first round and they fired their coach. I could see it happening, but it's his first time making the playoffs. Like, That's part of it. Yeah, I know. That that team is so loaded with talent. But, like, I don't think he's – he's one where they're not just going to upgrade to upgrade. And I think it's the same with Dallas. I don't think they're going to upgrade just to upgrade. Right. Because yeah, you, can you can do worse than Mike McCarthy. Absolutely. You could I mean, You could argue that oh, – we've. I think we've said this on the podcast before. You could argue that Mike McCarthy and Sean Payton are the same guy. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't think they are, but you can make the argument. So why would you fire Mike McCarthy without knowing you're getting someone better? Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I, for the Saints, obviously, you would want. I think the the best one for the Saints is Houston, which I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen. But I think, like, I don't think he goes to Houston. But it's the best one for the Saints because they have two first round picks, and. It makes sense. You would think they would be willing to part with like that. This twelfth is the pick. It makes which sense. is only two picks behind where the Saints should be, so it works out perfectly for the Saints. Uh, 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 just to but to wrap that up, I don't think Arizona comes off a three. 
I'd be shocked if Arizona gave uh, the third pick. I would absolutely be shocked if we got two or three. But whether we're I'd, talking, yeah, yeah, I'd be willing from Arizona to take a second from them this year and their first next year because I don't think Sean Payton fixes all their issues. Um, I think, he, yeah, there's a chance that uh, you could have another top ten pick with them, and you'd have two first round picks in a draft with a loaded I'm not quarterback class. That. I'm not buying that at all. What? I, I don't think I, – I think if Sean Payton goes there, they're not going to be a top ten pick. I said, I, I said a chance. Yeah. I I think, <laughs> you know, at worst you're looking at like seven and ten, which is still not a top ten. Well, it could be a top ten pick. I guess you're right. Yeah. If, I mean, if it's like this year, it could be anywhere between yeah. six and <laughs> 20. <laughs> it feels like everybody was seven to eight wins, it feels like, this year. It's true. It's very um, true. I, put, I think you, I could see it going both ways in, in Arizona. I don't. How often is it that a a coach, just a coach, can come in and change the whole thing? I don't. I mean, is there? A, a, granted, I guess we don't see it with that level of coach. Peyton did it. Doug Peterson did it twice. Um, I mean, you see it. Peyton also did it with a Hall of Fame quarterback at his side, who wasn't very. He wasn't even healthy that first year. I mean, it depend. It depends how you look at it. Like, yes, he did. A, sp- a very intelligent. Not not saying he's not a, a good head coach, a great head coach. I'm just there's. I think there's. I mean, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility to say he goes there and be and it just not work at least in the first year, because if you're truly rebuilding a pro, uh, building a program, it's gonna take more than a year. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know that. It, like I guess more realistically, probably top fifteen. Is if if it goes yeah, bad, I, I could definitely, you know what that. I mean. But still, either way, you get you have two, two first round picks, and I don't think that the Saints end up with a twenty or worse pick next year <laughs> if we keep that as valid, unless they get like an offensive guru in here and it turns around, you know. Um, <laughs> but you have two first round picks and a loaded quarterback class, like that's. Just exasperated thinking of like <laughs> we're not Saints getting to the Saints. We're not doing Saints. Next year. But yeah, I don't I don't know. We'll be I'll be interested to see. Like I said, I don't think all the teams that are gonna be landing spots are available yet.